Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told out of Oasis Radio. So today, we need to go and have a little bit of a chat about Ludicolo. I like Ludicolo. One of those Pokemon that has joined me on my journey through Pokemon games, the video games. Not to mention, of course, that... I mean, look, I've told the story many times, but the one from Primal Clash that had Pokemon Catcher as an ability, I was absolutely convinced was going to be good. Bought a playset, played it with Miltank. Turned out, actually, not good. Never mind. You can't say I didn't try. But this new Ludicolo, well, it, it's going to finish games, if I'm honest with you. It is coming out to try and finish the game and go, ha, 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 now it's over and I've already gone and done a win. So Ludicolo then, what does it do? Well, our translation comes from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com slash translations. And if we start off with the basics here, we see 160 HP. That's not bad. I mean, to be fair, Dragonite was rocking that in the Sun and Moon base set, so eh, maybe we don't get too excited about 160 just yet. We've got a retreat cost of two, so obligatory reference to Air Balloon here. And we've got a weakness to fire, which is not ideal because Welded X are running around. They're very, very good. They're hitting you for weakness. Boo, etc. As for being a grass Pokemon, if you're not being one hit KO'd, you got 160 HP. So drop a life for his Prism Star, start using Shaman from Lost Thunder. Maybe even go nuts and drop a Gardenia, get some healing going on. Stay on the field for a little while. As for weakness, um, Stone Journer and Stone Journer VMAX, I think they're probably the best ones we're getting at the moment. So there we go. But what does it do? Well, we actually need to take a quick step back here and start off having a look at Lombre. Now, Lombre is one of the three Pokemon in this expansion that have the top entry ability. We'll get to the other two shortly. And what this does is it reads, when you draw this card as the first card of your turn, if your bench isn't full, you may put it onto your bench before adding it to your hand. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really, really good. Now, this should remind you a little bit of that Nugget card that we talked about the other day. Nugget was one of those whereby if you drew it as your first card of the turn, you drew three cards. But if you, for instance, played a Welder and drew it, it didn't do anything. Now, I'm going to let you go back and have a look at the Nugget video. I'll link it in the description. But one of my favorite uses here is Oranguru. It's a basic Pokemon. And maybe you draw Lombre naturally. If you don't draw it naturally, what you do is you draw it whenever. You use Oranguru to draw a card. You put Lombre on top of your deck. And then you guarantee to draw it at the beginning of your next turn and get to play it down instantly. It turns Ludicolo from a Stage 2 into a Pseudo Stage 1. You'll probably still go the traditional Rare Candy route for the first one or two. But there should be a couple throughout the game where you are going to be able to really get this rolling a lot more easily. And I'm going to mention this with the others when we get there, but if you're playing a card like Lombre or Nugget, I'm sorry, I don't think there's any excuse to not play Oranguru. Because any time you draw into it, you're just like, oh, I'll just draw a card and put it on top of my deck and guarantee to draw it next turn, and then put it straight onto the bench. I cannot be the only one that thinks that sounds like a really fun idea. So Lombre helps you get it out way more easily, but what does Ludicolo do? Well, the main attraction here is the first attack. Two colorless energy, high spirit rush. This attack does 60 damage for each prize card you have taken. Oh. Yet, yeah, you know when I said Ludicolo's a finisher? Ludicolo's a finisher. If you've taken five prizes, this does 300 damage. 300 damage will get a one-hit KO on any tag team Pokemon, even things like the free birds that have 300 HP, and you're not hitting for weakness. It will get some Pokemon V Max. Essentially, as it stands at the moment, you will get more Pico V Max, and you will get Meowth V Max. But you're not getting that many of them. You'll get those two, 
but they are the only two that you're getting. But that's all right. Still getting a couple of VMAXs. That's a huge amount of damage. And that's if you've taken five prizes. You don't have to have taken five prizes. If you've taken two prizes, you do 120 for two energy. That ain't terrible. Three prizes, you're hitting 180. Again, for two energy, that ain't terrible. That's a one-hit KO on something like a Blacephalon. One of the Pokemon that may be causing you more aggro because of the whole weakness thing. If you've taken four prizes, that's 240, and that's a one-hit KO on a Pikachu and Zekrom. Hey, I've heard that's pretty good. Or a Zacian V. So if you can take four prizes, all of a sudden, things like Zacian or Pikachu and Zekrom go down and you win the game. Although it is worth pointing out that if you've taken four prizes and KO a Pikachu and Zekrom, does mean you've had to take seven to win the game. Although, to be clear, if I'm winning the game, I don't really mind if I've had to take an extra prize. Winning the game is reward enough. And the thing about Ludicolo is it's, it's a non-GX, non-V evolved Pokemon. So you can use either Triple Acceleration Energy, which falls off at the end of your turn, or you can use Twin Energy, which doesn't fall off at the end of your turn. Either of those is fine. Yeah, this is really good. Like, really good. The issue we have here, it's a little bit of an issue. Are we actually getting enough here in the early game? You see, this is a phenomenal finisher. Make no mistake about that. But are we doing enough in the early game to get enough damage on the field? Maybe we are. But we need to ask, what's the second attack? One Grass, two Colorless, 120, heal 30. It's all right. It's not great, but it's all right. Now, if your opponent isn't able to take a big one-hit KO, and that's always a fairly large if, then what you get the opportunity to do here is just start healing. And now, I, mean, I was talking about healing earlier. If you're using Life Forest, Prism Star, and this, that's 90 damage. Add in stuff like Shaman, etc., and you could be onto a real winner here. So that's quite nice. The energy cost becomes less fun. You can still use Triple Acceleration, you can still use Twin, but you do need a Grass Energy. One of the things I really like here is that because you're using Lombre, Super Boost Energy actually becomes a much better option because you're more likely to have multiple Stage 2s out. Remember, you need three Stage 2s for Super Boost to count as four of any energy when attached to a Stage 2 Pokemon. So I actually kind of love this. Because you're going to get more of them out. And that's one of the things which is awesome about this. If you're playing Oranguru, which a lot of decks will be. And you're playing two colorless energy, twin energy or triple acceleration. Which a lot of decks will be. Just literally play a 1-1 one, one line. Just literally play one Lombre, one Ludicolo. When you draw the Lombre, use Oranguru to put it on top, and then this essentially turns into a Stage 1. That's what I love about this. I do think it can be a bit of a deck on its own. The second attack isn't great, but the first attack does get better and better as you go. And if you can reset stamp your opponent down to 1 or 2, and every deck's playing reset stamp, while then sitting there doing 240 or whatever... That's going to add up pretty gosh darn quickly. The second attack will get you there. You'll probably want some other attackers, but you've got plenty of options. But being able to cheat a little bit and then being able to finish games in such spectacular fashion make me really, really like this. And it is a stage two, which is usually a bit of a dirty word, but I'm really much, much less worried because of the whole Lombre thing. Lombre makes a gigantic difference. So there we go. I'm giving this between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I really do think this is one of those that's got real potential. And especially with Lombre's ability and the fact that this attack is really good for two colorless energy on a non-GX, non-V evolution Pokemon. Means that this will slide in as a cheeky deck on a bunch of other decks. And that makes me kind of happy. But I'd like to know if it makes you happy. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts!
Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in, but are pretty gosh darn awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.